start on YouTube. Now I know YouTubing is difficult. I'm not saying that you should you shouldn't do it. That it's super hard and that it's just amazingly impossible and you shouldn't you should just avoid it at all costs. No, I'm saying do it, but just know that it can be pretty difficult. So the first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is set up your recording software. Now I use uh, OBS or open broadcaster software there are other softwares maybe are better but this is free and it works so go to obsproject.com and when you're here you can download either the multi-platform which is coming soon for Windows 7 and 8 and Linux but it works for OS X um, Mavericks and up and Windows 7 8 so I run Windows 7 so here we go and here's the installer save now I don't need the installer but you would install it as you can see like any other program and I already have the latest version so I don't really need this but close that and um, you install it again like any other video recording software and once you have it this is what it should look like, except you shouldn't get the uh, Inception screen, because this is uh, my actual copy of Open Broadcaster software. So I'm going to see if I can open the 32-bit version for a second, so I can show you guys how to set it up. Open Broadcaster software, 32-bit, run as administrator, and always right-click and say run as admin because there are some programs that you can't record unless you say run as admin specifically okay I guess I can't show you so anyways I what you need to do is go into settings to like get it set up to start recording go to settings now, I have a profile here that's set up but it doesn't really make much of a difference and go to encoding make sure that it's on the encoder is on x264 could be on either of these, but I recommend using this. Uh, max bitrate, quality balance. Quality balance I recommend setting to 9, max bitrate. I'm going to get to that in a sec. Uh, broadcast settings. If you just want to uh, output files, I say I would say file output only. File path, put it to whatever you want, but I set it to my external hard drive, which goes, which is right here. So you get backup plus and vids and everything goes into here. So you can record whatever you want with this. You can record from a camera, from like a uh, uh god off the top of my head I can't remember. Webcam. Webcam. I'm young, I swear. Uh video adapter, mine is my uh NVIDIA GeForce GTX. Uh you can have a base you set your base resolution to set um the resolution that it captures your screen at. Mine is 1080. You can also downscale it to go down to 720. You can go to 480, 360, and I think you can go farther, but I'm not sure. Set your FPS, the max FPS that it records it at. Uh, audio, uh, desk desktop audio device anything really microphone I set my microphone to the Realtek audio manager default and show only connected devices yes push to talk delay no I don't have that set but that doesn't matter uh, hotkeys um, I have just a mute unmute mic set up and these all work really well I have start and stop recording and I have another profile that I broadcast on just so that like when recording I get a higher bitrate but um, I'm gonna get back to that in a second advanced you're probably not gonna want to mess with this a quick sync encoder don't touch this at all microphone noise gate you can set this so it's like um, close after like when it's above that and lower than that so there you go and I don't know what most of the stuff is honestly but uh, we're gonna go to video and no sorry encoding and the bitrate quality balance stuff I'm gonna change that and what we're gonna do is go back to Google Chrome 
and we're going to go to Twitch. Now, Twitch is great because it provides, if you already have a channel for streaming on Twitch, that's great, or just watching other people on Twitch, honestly. Twitch.tv, and I'm going to have links to all this stuff in the description. Go to Twitch.tv, and... Uh, no, sorry, what am I doing? We need to go to broadcast settings, live stream. Now, not optimized with Twitch, path file stream, if any. Now, just gonna delete that. Apply. Now I can stream. My video, so far as I know, hasn't stopped. So... What we're going to do is now it says mode live stream. You can file output too while live streaming, but this works great. Say Twitch because that's the best one that I've seen. Uh, this is the closest server, the closest Twitch server to your Wi-Fi hotspot, basically. And um, play path stream if any, and now. Just click the button here, optimize, and it will automatically put everything on the best settings for um, for uploading to Twitch. Now the quality balance, it'll it'll like be the default of Twitch, but this all works. It's all great. It, like I used to use it, and now I don't just to get a little bit higher video quality. And you can see there's a bit of a stream going on there. And so, to be able to actually broadcast, you're going to go to just Google Twitch. Um, let's see what it's called again. Uh, settings, broadcast settings, path, play path or stream key. Twitch, Twitch stream key. Now, each person is going to get a different one. So, right here. And, I need to get your stream key. Oh no. Sorry about that. Um, broadcasts Twitch. Right here. Twitch.tv broadcast. Now, download setup guide for OBS. And, looking for your stream key, find it on your dashboard. Now, um, I'm not going to show it. But, you basically just... Um, like, click show stream key, and copy it, and put it into the settings, that broadcasting thing, put it there, and everything will work perfectly fine, you'll be able to, you'll be able to stream to Twitch, and everything will be all hunky-dory. So anyways, this has been my first little bit of an episode tutorial thing on how to get started on YouTube, just want to keep in mind for you guys, just gonna repeat it again, that this is my method, this is how I do this. There are, of course, gonna be other methods out there. It's n mine isn't gonna be perfect, there's gonna be a couple flaws, probably. But, again, just keep in mind, this isn't the be-all, end-all only way to do this, but um, more and more YouTubers are migrating to OBS as opposed to Fraps or Bandicam or any of that, because it's perfectly free, you don't need to pay for a license or anything, and it frickin' works. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next video you choose to watch. Bye, and click.